Another thing that guys run into all the time when they're talking to me is, hey, how do I tie my hooks? Doc, what works good for you? Let me take a moment and show you two of my favorite knots and how I tie them. A lot of guys come up to me and say, Doc, how do you tie a loop into the end of your leader to attach it to certain things? It's really easy to do. I go over once, and then I go over it again, like so, and I pull her through, and I found that this works the best for me. That's a real strong knot. A lot of guys have come up to me and said, Doc, What's the best knot that you've found to tying onto your hook? Well, I have found what I like to call the bumper tie. I simply put the line through the eye of the hook here, run the little tail down like so, and then I count one, two, three, four, five times, run the other end up through the eye of the hook here, and then simply what you want to do is you want to cross it over, grab the line that's from behind, and go over the point of the hook, include that little pigtail, grab the line that's from behind, back over the front of the hook, and include that little pigtail, grab the line that's from behind, go over the front of the hook, and include that little pigtail. Now when you pull this tight, She'll come through nice and easy. Now, one of the biggest mistakes from guys make is when they tie knots, they cinch them down. Don't. This is a bumper tie. The reason it's a bumper tie, you see how when the fish pulls, how it wants to snug itself up? It cushions the shock a little bit. You're going to find by not cinching your knots up tight, going to give you a little bit better holding power. You see how easy that is? Simple. I like a knot like this, a good bumper tie. And you want to catch big fish, you need a big hook. <laughs> what you catch with this off Anderson Island might scare you a little bit. We've covered a lot of different things on this tape, from how I fish, the way I put things together, and I want to take a brief moment to explain to you what I'm doing with WD-40 and what I'm doing with pure anise extract.